Welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller and today I'm bringing you another What's Sold Weekend Edition. This is basically my sales from Friday afternoon after I've already shipped out the day's items until Sunday evening. It's around 6 p.m. So let's get right into it. Uh, I do sell on Etsy, Poshmark, and eBay and this weekend I actually had sales on all three platforms. So Let's get started with Etsy. Now, Etsy, I don't have a whole lot listed over there, but I did sell two items this weekend. First item I sold is, actually, they were in one of my recent haul videos. They are two vintage Yorkcraft wooden wall plaque pictures, Big Dan Morgan, American Revolutionary War Soldier Trooper, Continental Army, Man Cave Decor. Whoo! That is a title. That's one good thing about Etsy that title can be so long. You can put so many keywords in an Etsy title. So these sold for $37.99 plus shipping. That means the buyer paid shipping. Also, I am inserting all the photos up here, just like this one, just so you know, so you can see what the item is. So next item that sold on Etsy is a vintage teal green boho hippie hand tooled beaded flower leather cuff bracelet. This I had listed for quite some time on Etsy. It sold for $12.99 plus shipping. So those were my two Etsy sales this weekend. Oh, also, if you want to know what I paid for the items, the bracelets, I can't remember. And the wooden plaques, I paid $7 for the pair. Now on Poshmark, I sold, I, I have no idea how to pronounce the first name of this brand. So I'm just going to put the little screenshot up here and just tell you it is a, it's, by the brand cutie pie and it is a candy wrapper purse basically these are woven together with candy wrappers so this sold for twenty dollars and after my after the poshmark fees my cut is sixteen dollars on this and also if you're not familiar with Poshmark, the buyer does pay shipping on all Poshmark orders unless you give them a discount. Sometimes you can send a buyer an offer and either give a discounted shipping or free shipping. And then in that case, it will come out of your cut. But normally if the buyer is just buying regularly, Poshmark does charge a flat rate shipping. And since the prices went up, I... I'm not quite sure what that exact amount is right now, but they do pay a flat rate shipping. Moving over to eBay now. eBay is my main platform. So let's see here. All right. The first item is an Otagiri Trio of Owls coffee mug. This sold for $22.95 with free shipping. I don't think that this is a super old listing, but I did have free shipping on it anyway. And I think that is because there were several others listed and I was trying to be competitive with the pricing to get it sold. So what I basically did is just included what I thought, you know, the shipping cost would be for this item into the price. So, you know, if I would normally list this mug for 12 to 15 dollars i just kind of added that shipping in and ended up listing it for 22.95 so i don't do that very often i i hardly ever do that anymore to be honest with you i find that it really doesn't seem to make that big of a difference i mean this still took a little while to sell actually let me look i can tell you exactly when this was listed you know what this is an older listing this this is actually listed for like four years. Ooh, ouch. I really do list it and forget it. I'm just being perfectly honest with you. Okie dokie. Not everything takes that long to sell, but every now and then. And like I said, there were a lot listed at the time. I thought it was really cute. It's a vintage mug, so I picked it up. But clearly, you know, there were a lot of them. So it took a while for that to sell. All right, anyway, moving on. 
Next item is a Conair Quick String Wrap Hair Art Styling Tool, new in package. This I picked up a few months ago at the thrift store. I think I paid about maybe three or four dollars for it. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Oh, and that owl coffee mug, I don't remember how much I paid for that, but I'm sure it wasn't much. Next item is a Vera Bradley Midnight Blue ED Satchel Purse Handbag. This is in, this was in excellent condition. I actually picked this one up, I think about, I don't know, a couple months ago, I think. Hmm. I'm trying to think because I remember buying this at a yard sale. I don't think that it was in the, um, no, it was recent. It was a recent yard sale because it was just listed April 1st. So yeah, it must have been one of the first yard sales when it was still cold back in March. And I think I paid $8 for this one, if I remember correctly. All right, next item is a Lionel Train Santa Fe 56 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. This sold for $19.95 plus shipping. Next item sold is a Longaberger Pottery Woven Traditions Classic Blue Three Quart Covered Casserole Dish. If you watched my video, it was a, I believe it was reseller vlog buying from Craigslist. This was in that lot that I purchased from Craigslist. I bought all of this Longaberger Pottery in the Classic woven traditions blue pattern and this is one of the pieces that sold i believe i paid 150 dollars for all of it i've sold some of it already i i think i've sold about close to 200 already and now with this closer to 300 and i still have pieces listed i actually i can't remember what i sold from this already but it was a pretty good amount Anyway, this sold for $79.99 plus shipping. All right, next item that sold is a pair of Ann Taylor Loft Dark Wash Flare Crop Jeans, size 29.8. These sold for $19.99 plus shipping. And then I sold a Land's End. Oh, and the jeans, probably a couple dollars. I don't quite remember what I paid for these trying to remember that and I keep forgetting to tell you. All right. The Land's End Supima Cotton Pink Multicolor Floral Cardigan Sweater, size XL. That sold for $22.99 plus shipping. I also don't remember what I paid for that. Uh, I, think, I think it was probably a couple dollars and not quite sure. I don't remember. All right, next item that sold is a pair of Monroe Eden black multicolor leather wedge heel angle strap sandals, size seven wide. These sold for $37.99 and I paid $5 for these. These are new without box. Next item is, I don't know if you pronounce this, Ibiz, Ibiz, Roma, I'll just throw it up there and you can just read the title. Anyway, it's a burgundy leather bucket handbag purse made in Italy. And I thought it was unique. I thought it was kind of cool. I think I paid either two or three dollars for this. I believe this is in one of my earlier yard sale haul videos, if I remember correctly. It is it is fairly recently listed. Uh, April 18th, I listed this. I thought it was pretty new and this uh yeah like I said either two or three dollars I, I if I remember correctly the gentleman wanted three and I asked him if he would take two and he said yes so this I thought it was unique just had a neat little look to it sold for $24.99 plus shipping next item I also showed in one of my haul videos from a couple weeks ago this is an Evenflow deluxe advanced double electric breast pump kit model 2951 new in box this I purchased for ten dollars and it is new and sealed in the box and it sold for $49.99 plus shipping 
Other brands will sell for a lot more, but this is typically what the price, what the price is, the going rate for the even flow pumps. But still a nice profit, still fairly quick. Next item is a set of India collection, set of four teal turquoise green decorative drawer poles. This was this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I picked these up. It was a little retail arbitrage and I picked these up for $1.50 from the store I purchased them at. I believe it was $1.50. And uh, yeah, so $14.99, not bad, plus shipping. Everything is plus shipping unless I tell you that it's not. <laughs> uh, okay, next is the Waitersbach, if I'm pronouncing that right. Red Kitty Cat Christmas Tree Cats in Window Coffee Mug Cup, 12 ounce. That sold for $16.99 plus shipping. This was also in one of my recent haul videos. I know I keep saying that, but a lot of stuff that I am listing just keeps selling. So that's a good problem to have, right? I need to get all my stuff listed and have it all sell just like that. <laughs> I, have, I have some piles from all the sales I've been going to lately. So I will be working on that this week. All right, next item is a vintage, I'm not sure how to say that word either, sheer mesh fuzzy gold black dots, open tie front, disco top, size large. This I picked up over the winter at a half off day at the Salvation Army. I just thought it was really cool looking. I don't know, I kind of like the gaudy flashy pieces and this kind of had all of that and some mesh like see-through and it just looks so cool to me. It just caught my eye, kind of unique. And it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next item is a We Animal Crossing City Folk We Speak Microphone Combo Pack. $14 this sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This was a recent pickup at one of the estate sales I went to right before I started doing YouTube and... I paid $50 for everything I bought that day. The lady just gave me a bulk price, so I really don't know what I paid for the individual items. But I already definitely made my money way back from the items that I've already sold. So this is just all pure profit here on that. Next item is a Dress Barn Blue Studded Grommet Split Neck Top Blouse Tunic, size extra large. I added all kinds of keywords in there. And this sold for $18.95 plus shipping. This is definitely an older listing because I no longer use that mannequin either, or dress form, I should say, because it's not really a mannequin, it's a dress form. Next item, also a recent listing. This is a Catherine's Blue Purple Print Layered Tiered Sleeveless Tank Top Shirt, size 3X. That sold for $16.99 plus shipping. And then I sold this was also in a recent haul video. <laughs> a men's Johnston and Murphy blue brown stripe button down shirt size extra large. This I paid a dollar for and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. I should say buyer paid shipping. Then you guys will know kind of what I'm talking about because even when I say plus shipping, some people don't know if if I paid that or if the buyer did. But when I when I say plus shipping, I mean the buyer paid that shipping. Just to clear that up. All right, next item is a Balance Outdoor Collection Gray Black Athletic Athleisure Dress Size 1X. This sold for $22.99 plus shipping. Another recent listing that sold is a J. Crew Perfect Fit in Scattered Daisy Navy Blue for Floral button front shirt size eight. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I knew that one was going to go quick. That's a popular shirt. And here I go again. I'm not telling you what I paid. The balance dress, don't remember. I know I got it at a half off day at the thrift store. And the J. Crew perfect shirt. Huh. I don't remember that either. But. It is in one of my recent hauls. I think it was just a couple dollars. It's definitely in one of my recent haul videos. Like I said, it's just, it's my buying season. So I'm buying so much that I am just totally losing track of it. Buying season. 
I buy all year long. I do. But this is like rummage and yard sale season is when I buy like 10 times more, basically. All right. Next item is a Stampendous. It's a Raven Edgar Allan Poe themed rubber stamp, basically. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. So when I was speaking about the big bag of rubber stamps I bought in the recent rummage sale video I did, this is why, because I can sell rubber stamps for $10, $15, $20 a piece for a single stamp. So that's why I picked up that big bag for $20. All right, next item, we have a Harley Davidson Motorcycles Black Orange Logo Coffee Mug Stein, 18 ounce. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next item is three false graph PFF48. That is the style name that I was able to come up with when I researched these on replacements.com because I could not find the style name of these anywhere. And apparently they couldn't either because when when they can't, they kind of give it their own style code number, letters, numbers, combination of the two. But sometimes people that look on replacements to buy will also then take that style name and put it into eBay and look for those those items that way to see if they can get a better deal. So I will still use that style name and number, even though it's technically not a factory given code, if that's making sense. So anyway, these didn't sell for a whole lot, but they sold for $10.95 plus shipping. All right. And they were salad forks. I don't think I ever finished reading you the title. Okay, next item is a pair of Lane Bryant black woven sandal shoes, flats, open toe, size 11 wide. These are from probably my last thrift store haul that I did. The last time I went thrifting was a couple weeks ago. These sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Next item is a pair of Lane Bryant Livy Activewear, just gray leggings, basically. These sold for $16.99 plus shipping. I think these also came from a recent thrift store haul. And then the final item is Tarte Intimates pajama set, sleeveless tank cropped pants, gray black floral size 2X. That was hard to spit that one out. I don't know why. But this is also an older listing because, again, I don't use that mannequin anymore. So, yeah, list it and forget it. But it does eventually sell. And this was proven twice during this video because I had a couple older things that sold. Actually, more than twice because at least three of these items were older listings. Okay, anyway, this pajama set sold for $24.99 plus shipping. So there you have it. That is, that is my weekend sales thus far. And like I said, it's only about it's about 6 30 ish now Sunday evening. So I do expect to have more sales overnight and into the morning as I always do. So I'm going to go start my shipping because if not, I will be shipping all day tomorrow. All right, guys. So that wraps up another what sold weekend edition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment, let me know what your favorite item was. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, bye.